IDOE has worked with counseling stakeholders across the state to update the process and requirements of the Gold Star Award. Today, I am excited to share with you the updated program. Indiana has a guideline to develop your program that would lead to an Indiana Award and then ASCA's RAMP Award. Carrying the Torch to Student Success, CTSS, is taking the place of the current Indiana Gold Star Award. The question has been posed, what do school counselors do? The more important question is, how are students different as a result of what school counselors do? To help answer this question, ASCA created the ASCA National Model, which is a framework for data-informed school counseling programs. Indiana looked at ASCA's framework and created a model to help improve school counseling programs to best serve Indiana students. A comprehensive school counseling program impacts far more than just students. It can help increase involvement from stakeholders both in and outside of the school setting. In the school setting, defining counselor roles can increase productivity and staff buy-in on addressing students' needs. Collaboration with community and businesses will allow for more opportunities for students. As professionals in the education field, we know that students cannot perform their best academically or consider their future career paths if there are personal barriers. School counselors, teachers, and other school support staff can play a huge role in identifying and supporting students who have mental health concerns. If school counselors have the support to work with students on these challenges, it will increase student attendance and in turn academic performance. School safety and student behavior can also be positively impacted by a comprehensive school counseling program. Students cannot academically perform their best if they do not feel safe either at school or at home. In Indiana, from a 2019 survey, it was found that 82% of counseling programs have not achieved gold star recognition. Most respondents reported either lack of time, lack of knowledge of the process, or lack of support from administrators or counseling staff to complete the process. So why is Indiana pursuing a new gold star award? The department partnered with Butler University to do a review on the effectiveness of the gold star process. The study found no specific evidence that being a gold star school had any significant impact on students' personal or academic achievement compared to schools who were not gold star approved. Upon conclusion of the study, IDOE created an advisory board to rewrite the program to align with state initiatives and the new ASCA 4th edition model. Another proponent of reviewing the gold star process is the vision that IDOE plans to offer ongoing professional development on how to build and maintain a comprehensive school counseling program instead of just a one-time award. The Indiana Department of Education worked with counseling professionals across the state and representatives from the Indiana School Counseling Association and the American School Counseling Association to update the Indiana Comprehensive School Counseling Model and the Gold Star Award. In working with stakeholders, there were some common themes or requests professionals felt would help improve the former Gold Star process. The themes included a tiered model for schools to allow flexibility in implementation and development, a common student survey needs assessment option, individualization of goals based on each school's data, promotion of the benefits of a comprehensive model, initial and ongoing professional development and support, and alignment with other state school-wide initiatives. The new Gold Star process is a tiered system. It can be either a one, two, or three year process that is driven by each school or district's resources or need. The Bronze Star level can be done solely by an individual counselor, which would be a good option for schools whose administration is not on board yet with the comprehensive school counseling model. The first level could also be a great advocacy tool to demonstrate need for program evaluation. The Silver Star level will build on the foundations of the Bronze level but includes buy-in from administration and community stakeholders. Finally, Gold Star Level will include elements of both the Bronze and Silver Levels, but is unique in that it is a set two-year program to allow for evaluation of data from year one and plans to close the gaps and address needs.
The bronze level is the beginning foundation of a comprehensive school counseling program. For the bronze, silver, and gold star levels, the Inspire Success platform will walk you through the process step-by-step -step with target dates and modules that include videos and other materials to guide you to adjust or build your program. A data review should be conducted first to examine student achievement, attendance, and discipline trends. Data can be collected through the following means and may be different for each school. School Counseling Program Assessment. In the Inspire Success platform, a template is provided for overall program assessment. Student Needs Assessment. A needs assessment is a survey completed by students, parents, teachers, and or administrators that offers a data-informed direction for comprehensive school counseling programs. School Data Summary. Understand your school's data story by reviewing the school's improvement plan, school data reports, and other data resources. The data received from your assessment will allow you to begin program planning and to create your school's district's goals that align with student needs. After collecting and analyzing your school's data, the program will support you in building awareness with your administration and determining counseling duties, which should include 80% direct services and 20% indirect services. An administrator conference form will be completed to ensure support of building a comprehensive program. Program planning, including a yearly department calendar, individual time logs, and counselor self-care will be completed and submitted with the program. To help support creating your counseling program goals, videos and materials in the Inspire Success platform will guide you on how to create SMART goals and effective lesson plans as you wrap up the school year. The Silver Star Level will include the elements from the Bronze Star Level, such as data review, vision and mission statements, and utilizing data for program development. The Silver Star Level will require support from administration and community stakeholders in the form of creating an advisory council in support of your comprehensive school counseling program. In addition to the program development requirements, the Silver Star Level will expand on the use of evidence-based practices determining student outcome goals, classroom and group mindsets and behaviors action planning, counselor self-care, and department agreement with administration. The gold star level will include again the elements from the bronze star and silver star levels such as data review, vision and mission statements, and utilizing data for program development. The gold star level is like the silver star level as it will require support from administration and community stakeholders in developing your comprehensive school counseling program. In addition to creating lesson plans, it will require delivery and evaluation of small group and classroom lesson plans. This includes assessing and addressing how you will bridge any gaps between your lesson goals and student achievement and or performance. The Gold Star Plan will also include the self-care plan for counselors from the silver level. Burnout prevention is essential in any helping field to allow professionals to best meet the needs of themselves and those under their care. The Gold Star Level is a two-year process that allows for program evaluation and to adapt your program for the second year based on the data you receive from year one completion. So, how should schools begin the new Carrying the Torch to Student Success process? Starting with a needs assessment with students, families, and the community will benefit your program regardless of which level you choose and help with initial program planning and goal creation. After reviewing the data and looking at program planning goals, it will help determine which star level will best support your individual program and student needs. We are so glad that you are joining us in this process. We look forward to working with you. If you need any help or have any questions, please feel free to contact me at rfraser at doe.in.gov. If your question pertains to the online platform, you can also contact Amy Portis of Inspire Success, our technical partner at amy at inspiresuccess.org.